What's going on gamers? We learned a lot about Void 3.0 today and I was thinking that I could go through my collections and kind of tell you what exotics that I plan on testing out in Witch Queen with the new 3.0 changes. Now again, these builds could change, but right now you probably have nothing to do in the game right now and we're just waiting for February 22nd. So I kind of wanted to give you a list of exotics that you might want to jot down and use in the new 3.0 void subclass we don't know if certain exotics are going to stack uh abilities or that we can combine the two abilities together so we kind of just have to test stuff so for the titan i despise this helmet but hey you know what we're gonna give it a shot because you gain ability energy when you're damaged when you're critical you heal so it would be worth to try it out with the new class and give it a sh give it a shot helmet same 14 i mean this blinds enemies in your bubble bubble's gonna be great also a one-eyed mask you know, when you when you get multiple kills while you're uh, standing behind that shield, we can definitely pair this over shield that you get from the new 3.0 subclass for the Titan. It might work pretty well. Doomfangs, I mean, these have always been important. They've gave you super energy. It improves the Sentinel shield. Definitely want to try these out if you don't have them. Syntheseps, there's actually a point in the Void 3.0 class for the Titan that says it buffs melee energy. So with Syntheseps, you might be throwing that Captain America shield for even more damage. And we can pair it with buffs and debuffs. We might be looking at a bonk 2.0 build. We don't know though. Worm Gods, I mean, hey, if they can buff the shield and get one good juicy bonk build, you never know. Definitely want to try it out. Ursas, I mean, for any end game, a Titan, this is the, the starting exotic right here. If you don't believe me, go back and watch the Vidoc. Most of the Titans were on Banner Shield, so... This is definitely going to be something we're going to need to test out. Uh, strongholds. Chat said that we should uh, suggest these. So you should definitely test this out with the new fragments and aspects and see if they work good on your Titan. Titan, if these work with your shield that heals you and you could turn it into a fun wall and shoot through it, this will be very, very annoying in PvP and will be pretty funny in PvE. So I want to write that down. Since they changed the tier of the regen of the bubble to a tier five and it's got the same charge speed as Well of Radiance now, this might be really good to run no backup plans in Crucible and take advantage of that automatic overshield. Crest of Alpha Loopy. When you cast that barricade and you stand behind it and you heal, you actually can get more heals off this. Plus, when you pop a super, you can make more orbs. This is an old D1 strat. We've used it in D2 as well. I would definitely recommend it. trying it. Armentarium, you get two debuff nades. Enough said. Heart of him, most light. Pop your nade, pop your tall wall, juiced melee. Or throw your shield, throw your tall wall down, buff your nades. Heart of him, most light is busted. Also, Dune Marchers. If you're not using Dune Marchers in PvE endgame right now as a Titan, you're missing out on the fun. Try them out. Use it. Try it. Have fun. Those are all my suggested testing exotics for the Titan. We're going to move on to the Hunter now. As you know, the Hunter's going to be invis a lot. Chaining invis and making fun builds could be fun. Gravitron forfeit is definitely going to make you invis and very annoying to deal with in PvP. Or musk. A lot of people use this in PvE and PvP. Definitely want to test it out and see if it's going to help you. I'm going to put Assassin's Cow on here, but I don't think it's going to outperform the Gravitron forfeit, but it's definitely worth trying to use and test it out. Then we're going to go down to these gauntlets. Pepper Sting paired with the new invisibility and debuffing nades and debuffing smokes. This will give you instant smoke bomb with true sight and improved damage for your melees. Could be busted. Just ignore that we don't have these gauntlets. You never saw it. Moving on. Six Coyote. Double dodge. We use this now in the game. You're still going to use it next season. But there is a huge competitor. The Omni. This Omni could be busted if it still works as intended and it still works with the 3.0 changes. This will be one of the most broken chess piece builds out there, but it has to work the same. We're going to move on to the Orpheus rig. We don't know if it's going to work with both trees, considering it could be a tether or it could be a quiver tether. Quiver is now a two shot with three arrows stuck into the ground that chains enemies. You're going to have to try it out. Gemini Jester, Frosties, and Bombardiers are all three going to be very good to test out with the void me personally it's really hard to take off stompies if i'm wearing boots but the sprint energy right here that you know dodging speeds up your sprint frosties are really really hard to ignore here so you can try it out me personally if i had to choose boots i would just go with frosty stompies and maybe test out star eaters but i really don't see anything really groundbreaking but if you don't test stuff out or you don't have them you don't want to be the person going into witch queen and not having them that's going to conclude the, the hunter we're going to move on to the warlock now the most bur broken some of the most broken gameplay i've ever seen was today warlock guys are cheating okay warlock is going to be cheating now why? Because they have the Void Buddy. And I forgot what the devs called the boots, so we're gonna use Twitch chat for that advantage. We're gonna be going over these exotics right here that you should test out on the new Void 3.0. You're gonna be going with the Nezrak Sin. 
you're going to be checking out the stag you're going to be pairing those with your rifts and devour could be busted verity's brow absolutely insane buff debuff helmet if you haven't even tested this out you should right now as the void 2.0 is we're going to call it the void 2.0 but pairing this buff with your uh new buff such as your debuff nades your void buddy your rifts this verity's brow is going to be absolutely insane also fell winner's helm this is a debuff helm so not only are you going to have debuff nades this helmet could stack with Void 3.0 and be absolutely busted. Warlock could turn into a debuff champ. If you guys are wondering what debuff means, it means weakening enemies that gives you a buff. What we saw on the Void 3.0 showcase was that it was it was a 15% buff on the weekend. The weekend effect. It, the Warlock was standing in a empowering rift, and when the weekend effect kicked in, it was a 15% buff. Not confirmed though. Not confirmed, so we have no clue. Karnstein armlets. I don't use these in endgame, but I know some people that do. Maybe you're not running your Devour build and you want to run the other tree, or you're running both. You can pair this with Devour and absolutely get your health back and be an absolute madman running around melee and everything thinking you're a titan on a warlock but we all know what's going to happen here we're going to move on to that controversial hold if this enhanced void nades actually stacks with the new void 3.0 nades they're going to be absolutely busted run those discipline builds and have fun i don't have nothing manacles because i skipped arm day as you see but i'm going to go get them and i would definitely test that out why because you get a second scatter nade and that means two nades that can debuff and throw that oppressive darkness effect for you or your teammates this is the chess piece we all know this chess piece there's been no purpose for this except one and that's sitting in the shattered throne the boots okay the devour buddy boots when you activate that perk you have the boots on you have the aspect on on your void kills on your void buddy kills it actually gives you your debuffs think about this you pop the rift with the boot and switch to a chess piece while you're standing in that rift what if your weapon kills can extend the rift's duration it's gonna be the most broken thing i really hope that bungie sees this because we've had a problem before where we've popped wells and then switched to a different chess piece and it worked if not hey we got the strats other than that i'm gonna recommend one more chess piece that is going to be the mantle of battle harmony i'm not a fan of this chess piece but chat said hey you should mention it so people can get the super energy on the elemental weapon takedown so try it out have fun that's all the exotics that i'm going to suggest you try out with the new void 3.0 everyone's gonna have a different opinion but i wanted to give you guys a heads up on what and why you should use hopefully this was definitely something that could help you out and discover new builds but also you could come into twitch chat and hang out with everybody else like they are right now they're just waving saying hi also stop being lazy hit the damn subscribe button and juice it to 100k stop being lazy hit the bell too plenty of juicy content coming up for the witch queen i'll see you then